read of Sodom and the women and children who were raped by savages? You read from the word of God. And I was sick. I was sick because you assumed I possessed those beastly men. You assumed my love for women was as heinous and deserving of condemnation. Those words suck the air out of me, Father. And I spit on the floor. I spit onto the floor of God. The acid that rushed up my throat at the same speed of your words. Forgive me, Father. I feel the acid rushing up my throat again. Unless it's the bad that I saw that I ate earlier. <laughs> I think I may have another accident. <laughs> Jesus, so I can spend more time with her during her time of decay. 
Sometimes, Father, I need to go to Mass twice. Or three times in one day. So I can feel a little more Jesus. Fill me with enough forgiveness, Father, because many people, including yourself, if you can remember, hit me, beat me, hate me, break my heart and betray me. Enough to almost drive me to the same rap I did not want to commit. For I know it is one of the capital sins. Forgive me, Father. Desiring Jesus is a sin. Loving is not a sin. Of my words might trigger a fourth heart attack. 
whenever Rusty goes with Vanity, she sits at the tippy tip corner of her stool, hiding under her waka. She's perched on display in her wedding, getting little wads of her short ashy pelitos with her thumb and forefinger up against the pink leg. She pulls it up halfway, all her hair extends, clips the roller shut, and sighs. From the bottom of the stairs, I watch her lips mouth words I can't make out. She either wants the empanada and is imagining its same sweet crumble on her lips, or she's just concentrating really hard on wrapping each little hair into burrito around the roll. I'm afraid she'll see the lust on my face. And now back to her, my secret desire for her bond. I want to eat the empanada, abuela. I wish I could tell you, but I'm ashamed of my gluttony, my sensuality, my sweet cravings for my eyes to the bun. I'm safe. The fear of my grandmother catching me disappears. I circled her again and again. I want to eat her lying on the butcher blood. I want to wrap our cuerpos in napkins until our feet stick together at the bottom and get to know one another. I dream of my grandmother's partially tasted dessert in my mouth. There are no sounds of my sister and brother on the other side of the kitchen walls. Hunger takes me faster in circles. The empanada is safely mine. My body falls over the counter. Her smell looms like cigar smoke up into my nose. The hooks of my fingers are tense and curled. I want to touch her body. I want to taste her. Well, let her between my teeth. My grandmother's door closes. And the light around me dims again. The empanada is safely mine. Desnuda, despierta mi postre unwrapped. I ring her between my fingers. Zolando las grasas and juices of her skin. My postre, I take her into my mouth, pushing her in between my lips, taking bites of the cuerpo of cake, and pushing her into my mouth. Thank you very much. Maria Ibarra. Isabel de la Cerda. And the ladies in the back, wave, please. Empanada.